Hello, I'm Richard Jack Smith of Real Talk Movie Reviews. Now today I want to talk a little bit about Finders of the Lost Yacht by Pano Ortio, but I also want to talk about the state of cinema and film music in general. I'd like to preface this review by talking about the latter two topics. And I am disconcerted to say the least. Cinema is dead. Originality has become lost. And this is something that's affecting film music in a big way. If you take a composer like Junkie XL or Lorne Balfe and you try to make them sound like John Williams, it's impersonal. They're not bringing their own creative expressions to the table. And indeed, what these people should be doing is doing their own thing. You have to take music beyond where you found it. It's not enough simply to imitate or sound like XYZ composers. I read a lot. I read a lot of these soundtrack reviews on film tracks, Movie Wave, Movie Music UK, the Click Track, Ben Erickson site, excellent. These are all excellent sites. But where I find the disconnect happening for me <laughs> is where these some of these efforts end up getting four, five stars. I mean, The Call of the Wild, for example. I mean, don't get me started. I've done a whole reaction video on that. You can check it out on my channel. But what I'm finding is that people are accepting substandard scores when they should be demanding more. One of my friends, Dario Vero, is a composer and he is great. He is absolutely superb. He brings his own creative idiosyncrasies to a given project. He's also an extremely talented filmmaker. I urge you to check out his little short film which is on YouTube, Closing the Loop. Fantastic. This is a guy who's multi-talented, a bit like John Ottman. And again, that's a topic for a whole other conversation. People say, why did he win for Bohemian Rhapsody? But I'll get to that on another video. So, film music and cinema in general, it's not that it's on the decline, it's, it's flatlined. It is absolutely flatlined. There are good examples. This year I've heard music that I like, that I've given my highest rating. Woman in Motion by Colin O'Malley, Tom and Jerry by Christopher Lennertz. The Last Warrior, Root of Evil by George Callis. These are very good scores. But then along comes something like Black Widow by Lorne Balfe, which people are falling over themselves. And I just don't hear or feel any justification for that kind of praise. I just, it, it doesn't, I don't get it. I just, I just don't get it. So getting to find as the lost yacht and not even, don't even get me started on the title, it's a silly take of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Actually the best one of those parody titles was Raiders of the Lost Shark. And that, that was funny, but Finders of the Lost Yacht, be it what it is, it's a stupid title. Penu Altio is an interesting composer and movie score media, the record label, have dealt with his music before, namely 95, which was the ice hockey documentary, which I I have been searching high and low to find that documentary, can't find it anywhere. If anybody knows, please put down in the comments below. I would love to see it. And The Last Fiction as well, which is by the same label. That's by Christoph Rezai. But score I absolutely love. Haven't been able to see the movie, it's just, just not available. If you know where, please let me know. But the problem here is, even though there's nice woodwinds, there's kind of a jazzy feel in places, he's semi-creative, Ultimately, this is all stuff that we've heard before. The family adventure genre, in terms of film music, and the late, great Terry Plumery emphasised this boldly. It's full of um, well-established ideas. So when you're operating within that uh, framework, you're going to show a lot of the same types of uh, things happening. Musically, there's going to be certain chord progressions, certain things that indicate, you know, serenity, maybe a little bit of disruption to an equilibrium here, the, the barn is on fire, you know. It usually always ends with something that's peaceful and resolved. And that's, that's very much the case with uh, Finders of Lost Yacht. I want the music to be better, I want it to be bolder, more original. 
On the topic of originality, I've been thinking about this a lot lately. The most original, we're in 2021 now, the most original film of the last 25 years was Being John Malkovich, and that was 1999. It was original because it was unique, it was offbeat. It wasn't like anything else. Cinema is dead because there's no originality anymore. And people are becoming more aware of this, I'm finding. Even though they're spending, you know, stupid amounts of money to watch these films. Joker, oh, please. Um, <laughs> and all these, like, woke flipping reboots, you know. They're talking about possibly doing Back to the Future with women. I mean, come on, just leave it alone, people. Just leave the classics alone. Come up with original ideas. Look through your archives. There are scripts out there by talented people. Get those made. Less money, more risk. Not more money and playing it safe. <laughs> it, it, it ties into the bigger problem of there being just a absolute disconnect emotionally between what people are willing to accept and what they should be demanding of music, which is something that's personal, something that is not like what they've heard before, maybe has some different instruments, trying something a bit different outside the box, and then just accepting something just because. And I find that with a score like this, I am less inclined to want to embrace it because I've heard it all before. I'd give Panu Altio's Finals of the Lost Yacht three out of five stars. It's 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 okay, it's got some replay value. It does grow on you a little tiny bit, but we're talking tiny tithes of warmth here. We're not talking about, you know, waves of you know overflowing sentimentality here. We're just talking about basically a little bit of um, appreciation growing over time rather than something that's really going to be a classic for the ages or is going to be something that just sweeps people away. There will be people that love it, sure, and, and they're entitled to their opinion. So, in closing, that's what I have for you today. I'm Richard Jack Smith. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.